I am here with Paul Provenza, Don't hold the legendary me. Billy Connolly, and Jackie. How are you guys today? Good. I didn't expect to see her. I was just coming to catch some peeps. Ah, but that, that's the reason I was down here. <laughs> Billy, were you here for the same reason? No, I'm just killing time till the trial is over. The Casey Casey see who did it. They go with the Casey Anthony trial? Yes. Well, Billy, Billy has a theory. <laughs> is it a conspiracy? Did she drown the baby? So or was, was the baby drowned? I'm just desperate to know where the duct tape came from in the accident. Hmm. But you don't think it's suspicious that she like googled the word of like the toxin that they alleged that she used? Oh, that's nothing. It's, I want to know how the child flew through ribbons of duct tape on her way to the swimming pool. I don't know. Kids are really energetic. <laughs> Can't put on any station without seeing it. No, no plans to go to Orlando after this to check it out. <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, do they have a right? <laughs> you think the Casey know. Anthony trial is like a tourist attraction now? Like no, we'll go, we'll it go is. To Disney World, the Anthony <laughs> trial, <laughs> and uh, maybe some alligators. They, they probably passed out some brochures like Florida, the home of Disneyland, and the Casey Anthony trial. <laughs> We're For a limited time offer. We're, we're German tourists are in danger every day. Subscribe to Comical Radio on iTunes. <laughs> really, help these people. They're pathetic. Seriously, help them. Right. Um, Are you involved in a scare? Ish. Um, <laughs> Stu who? Another Scots comedian. Are you familiar with him? I'm not familiar with him. I know, I know the name, but I've never seen him. Okay, but you know, you know who he is. He said something really fascinating to me. He said, uh, every great killer punchline you have is hiding an infinite number of better ones. Mm. Oh, that's a very nice line. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like you got to go that, that, that place. You that gotta, means there's a nice. Gotta stop line. playing it safe to find them. You know? Oh, you can't play safe, and, and but, but it's it's very difficult not to play safe. Uh, not because you're not brave enough. That's as I said earlier. It's just that you you, know, you get stuck and your brain takes over and yeah. won't let you go on autopilot. It, so it won't let you. It says, it. "Look, there's a big laugh here, and we're going to do it whether yeah. you like it or not." <laughs> what Stu who said was nice, but there's about ten nicer things. <laughs> that, that statement. <laughs> See, you're going to go meta with this for the rest of your life. <laughs> this applies that to everything. statement is preventing ten better statements. Like, exactly. I, know, I know you're a good woman, but you are preventing me from eating an even better one. Ten. You got to keep it. Ten. 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 You got to keep it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But what I love is when you do a really a line that you think is awfully funny and they don't. Mm. Because you've you've gone too far and into the ether. Yeah. Where you know you've 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 extemporized too far. I love that feeling. And people always go along with you. Mm -hmm. They're always sympathetic. Well you know your friends. Yeah. Well, that's what <laughs> I have work found. Along the rooms I'm working. That's yeah. what I've found over the years, you know. I remember I, f I fell laughing on stage one night. I was on my knees in Hull, a pl H U L L -L in the north of England. And I was, right, I, I was talking about, this This will sound really unfunny because of the way we're just sitting at a table here, but if you'd been at the concert and I already had done half an hour, and I, I was talking about those Japanese guys who refused to believe the war's over, and, the, and the, you know, they're in Oslo and all sorts of weird places, you know. <laughs> And I was doing all that, I was extemporizing on these Japanese being in really unlikely places. And then just suddenly into my mind, I got an idea and my legs went funny. You know when sometimes when you, you, you really laugh, you yeah. have to lean against something, your legs yeah. won't work. And I, it was a Scottish guy, who, who the Japanese guys were refusing to believe the war was over. But this, this Scottish guy had been found under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> in 1975, yeah. for refusing, refusing to believe the war had started. <laughs> so Daniel oh, Lavelle. Yeah. Danny Lavelle. Danny Lavelle. He's a good man. He's a good man. That's right. Billy Connolly and Paul Provenza just wrapped up with Comical Radio with the legendary Danny Lavelle. How do you think it went? And, and Danny's mom. And, Danny. and Danny's mom. Hi. <laughs> Was Danny's mom fun to talk to? Uh, I thought I was the best. I thought I, I did best, be, be, better than anybody on the show. Better than Billy over here? I'm sorry, who? I personally thought I was coming to see Danny LaBelle, some kind of comedian, showing on screen. 
<laughs> and I'm deeply fucking disappointed. No, unfortunately, you have to get it on CD when and it comes out. And I can't out. be bought by bars of toffee and <laughs> strong drinks wrapped in toilet paper. Oh.